So speaking of Peacock and all of the things that are Olympics, I watch a lot of Olympics, like literally every single thing. There's like, you know, one or two sports that I do not watch in the Olympics, but everything else is fair game. I watch it all. Um, And so I've been watching on Peacock and there is ads on Peacock and literally every single ad feels like it has to do with AI. There's the Matthew McConaughey ad. There is this ad that we're going to talk about. Every single ad is like AI this, AI that, AI that. And I'm like, oh my gosh. A lot of Gemini too. A lot of Gemini ads. Yeah, like the Leslie Jones ad that's AI. Um, That one's actually a really funny commercial. (laughs) I didn't mind that one too much. She's like, (laughs) she's like... Uh, Gemini, like, make me a routine, like, for gymnastics. And it's like, <laughs> it's hilarious. But anyway, uh, but this one, this commercial is catching a lot of grief. So the premise of the commercial is a dad, and he's asking the AI to uh, make him a, uh, like, help his daughter write a letter to Sydney McLaughlin who is a track and field star. And so the ad is basically like saying this like letter to Sydney McLaughlin about what, what an inspiration she is to this little girl and everything like that. Well, they're getting a ton of flack for it. It's like, really? Like your daughter can't write a heartfelt message to her idol. Like you've got to like rope in AI to help your daughter write this message. And like, and, Sydney McLaughlin's not going to like read this like AI generated message and be like, oh, how sweet this little girl. No, like she wants a message directly from the little girl. And like, yeah. So anyway, it's a terrible ad and they're catching just a ton of grief for it. So like, hey, what do you guys think about like the commercials that you've been seeing and this ad specifically about uh, generative text AI? I've got a comment watching Olympics period, which is like really hard to watch. Like um, it's the worst sports coverage ever. Like there's like three boxes, number one, on most of the screens and they're watching three things simultaneously and then they'll just cut away whenever they feel like it. So if you get if you're, you're watching, watching it wrong, if you're watching volleyball <laughs> yeah. and you're like, man, she's going to do it. And then they just cut away and they show you someone, you know, swimming or something. You're like, what? what yeah. Can-? You're watching, yeah, you're no. watching it wrong, Bobby. First that's of it. all, you are, okay. you are. I agree with Sarah. You are. Yeah. I've not, I, that's not the experience I've had. Okay. Yeah. Cause I've had a great experience. Like, and, but I check everything out live. Like I literally created myself a Google calendar that has Every okay. single event. I mean, I spent hours on this Google Calendar, people. Okay. Um, <laughs> every single event, like, and what time it's airing, like the time in my time zone, and so like there's stuff on my Google Calendar that's like at one thirty, you know. So at the All end right. of the end of the day or during the day, like, I mean, and actually, you can see I've got um, <laughs> it's on in the background. It's on. <laughs> um, which I've got to pause this one because I actually do want to watch this game, but anyway. Um, so then I watch like each event and there's some that I, I absolutely want to catch live, like most of the volleyball games, gymnastics, um, swimming. I've actually been watching in the evening coverage, um, just because I don't want to keep like going back and forth, but I watched all the rugby live and, you know, all sorts of things like that and, um, surfing, but, um, So what you got to do, Bobby, is you've got to go to the actual sport and just watch the event from Peacock. Yeah. Don't go to their like coverage of it. You got to go to the sport and watch the actual sport. This is the great thing about it this time. I, like Sarah, like like you, Sarah, have watched a a whole bunch of the Olympics over the weekend. Um, And this, this year has been the best by a mile compared to other coverage they've done. 100%. Okay, I'm wrong. Yeah. All right, now yeah. it has yeah. its problems. Don't get me wrong. For sure, because they've given us like sixty-five ways to watch it. This is right. this, and this is why you fell down one of the wrong ways to watch yeah. it rabbit hole. Because yeah. they've given us too many options. There are these like summary channels. There's this gold medal channel you can watch. There's this channel that that like tries to group sports together. Um, then you've got this the, the Al Michaels AI thing, which we talked about here before, um, which is a summary AI version that you can also watch. But then there's also kind of like 
the raw feed of the event. You need to find the raw feed of the event to watch it. Now, even though that is great coverage, I don't have the plus plus version of Peacock that I didn't even right. realize existed until Sarah schooled me right before this <laughs> 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 that, that, that exists that takes out the ads. The ad placement in this, not only has there have been a bunch of Gemini ads, there's just a bunch of ads, period. Yeah. And they are so badly placed. <laughs> it is like literally there could be somebody running at a goal to score and it cuts away to an ad. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, yeah, I'm watching rugby and I'm like, bad. did she make the try? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> no idea, because it because it goes to an ad. Right. So that part of it is terrible. And it cuts away between 60 seconds to generally two minutes yeah. of the ad time. So sometimes you cut away for two minutes. And then, so I've been watching them not so much live, but more on replay. And by the way, those those ex, those ad blocks still exist on the replay, and they're still mm -hmm. also in terrible places. Yes. So they don't fix it in post in any way because I think there's too <laughs> much content here for them to fix, right? Fix it in post. Um, but what I will say too is like there was this one issue I had. I was watching gymnastics. It was men's gymnastics, and I wanted to watch the ceremony at the end, like the um, uh, medal ceremony, ceremony, right? Yeah. I was like, oh, this is cool, like medal ceremony. I want to go watch it. They would stacked five ads around the metal ceremony and if you the peacock player you cannot see a preview for where you are right here's what happens you skip past one ad no matter where you've skipped past it it makes you watch that ad it was a two minute ad i watched it i was like oh i haven't gone far enough i had to skip again to the next bit guess what another two minute ad literally back to back four minute ads i was like this experience is terrible and there was five of them stacked there until i got to the right part i had to watch three lots of ads to eventually get there i'm like they know what they're doing here with this this is like this is manipulation of making somebody watch the advertisements <laughs> and i will say this particular ad i agree is terrible okay. i think all the google gemini ads are actually terrible yeah. and here's why because they're shoehorning in some weird reason to use ai right. that's actually <laughs> terrible not only is it terrible to write a, a letter to this athlete the yeah. Leslie Jones thing is like, why it's a funny commercial is yeah. absolutely useless. Oh, its yeah. use case is Nobody. just absolute junk. <laughs> it's not a real that. use case. <laughs> None of them are. <laughs> it's just bad. I'm going to yeah. make a proposal if Google's listening right now that they need to hire Sarah to do the Gemini ad because her yeah. use case is really cool. I'm going to use AI to generate a watch list in Excel so I can see right. all the Olympics. Yes. <laughs> you know, yes. You know, I'm going to feed it this data hours. set. I'm going to feed it hours. this data set and just tell me when it's on and put an alert on my phone. You know, right. <laughs> hours so, creating this Google Calendar. Yeah, but no, that's not what it's doing. It's, it's not having Leslie Jones no. do a gymnastics routine. Right. That just like, uh, yeah, all the ones that I've seen, they're, they're just they haven't put a good use case forward. Yeah. And it comes back to our point that we've talked about already in, in a million other sections, including the one before this, that there really isn't a great use case for right. <laughs> Well, I mean, and Bobby's example, like that would be an amazing commercial if that technology actually worked. <laughs> yeah, well, it doesn't. In but like, that you know. manner. <laughs> you don't have the data to feed it. Because 100%. You know, like, <laughs> no, the data exists. Like the data's in a table. Yeah. Like I, I but, can get but the I data. Guarantee you, but if you fed Google, that to the AI though and said, I'm interested in swimming and... No. and volleyball it would never put together couldn't. the correct schedule it just nope. wouldn't do it could yeah. not yeah so i was interested in mountain biking world championships or you know the or the olympic so tom piddock won the gold the gold i like him i watched him in tour de france he's a british guy and then i'll watch team usa tomorrow at three but i don't i don't have peacock so i'm hoping it's on espn i'm not sure if it is yeah it might be that yeah it might be. espn no but maybe cnbc oh, usa other, yeah. 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 Something like that. like, But ESPN is a Disney property. Well, Disney's owned by Hulu. I don't I think any's been on ESPN, though. Nothing's They've all been, been on, on ESPN. All those other channels, NBC, whatever they are. Yeah. USA or whatever it is. Or whatever USA, that CNBC. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, E yeah. has been yep. showing okay. stuff. Yep. All right. um, and then, oh. like, NBC. I will yeah. also say, here's, here's another tip, Bobby. I've noticed, and Sarah noticed this, too. We talked about this before we came on. There are multiple feeds of the same sport. Okay. So. Yes. Remember I complained before the other week about like Olympic coverage being heavily US based. Yeah. Right. You'll go to like yesterday, okay, men's gymnastics. There were two different feeds. There were the live feed that I watched originally at lunchtime, because I watched probably a half an hour of it at lunchtime yesterday. The original feed was very heavily US based. It was oh, it was US commentary and it only showed the US men do the gymnastics rounds, right? It didn't show anything else. So Later on in the night, I was like, oh, I won't watch the rest of it. I'll watch it later on at night on replay. Right? I'll, like, I'll, I'll avoid spoilers for the afternoon. I'll come back later at night and I'll watch it on replay. I go back to the replay. The replay is a totally different feed that includes all the athletes now. 
not just US athletes. So there's two kinds of like different weird things going on here. You got to be careful which one you end up watching. I've noticed generally when the voice on it is a US accent voice, it's the US yeah. feed. When yes. it's anybody else, it's the world it's, feed. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> 100%. And it's funny because, I mean, I I prefer the US stuff because, you know. We're the only USA. team in the Olympics, aren't we? <laughs> right. 100%. <laughs> don't so, make me go to medal counts. You're so not winning it all yet. Find... <laughs> I mean, we're up there. We're up there. Not yet. You may track and field, you'll be winning it. But, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah for sure. But yeah, and, well, and then, well, I won't spoil anything. <laughs> um, but the, uh, the, so there were specific times where I would like pop on like beach volleyball and I'm like, nope, this is the wrong one. And I'll have to go and find the one I want because the one I want has Misty May Trainer commentating. And Misty May Trainer is a, you know, gold medalist, you know, volleyball player for the U.S., and I can tell if they're British voices of like, nope, that's not Misty May. So <laughs> yeah. I got to go find the one that's Misty yeah. May. And then the same with the men's gymnastics. So we were talking about it when I watched it live. It was and this was really interesting because it was different U.S. commentators live. And then in the evening, they had Tim Daggett, who I, I prefer as a commentator and so I watched it all again with the Tim Daggett commentary. Like, okay. so like, exactly. Like you got to find the, like the feed yeah. with the commentary that you prefer. Yeah. Um, if you start looking through Peacock, there are hundreds of them. Yeah, you got even if you go extra. by sport, right. yeah. you can yeah. pick down to sport. And then you can, even when you look in the sports, the replays, there's like literal lines and lines and lines and lines of them trying to find what you do want to find. It's kind of like, but it's I'm a, a I'm bit a like class, the search isn't I'm, a, I'm the classic USA fan. Like, I will watch Olympic basketball only if Team USA is playing. I don't care about the other team whatsoever. I just know <laughs> we're going to win the tournament, or we should. <laughs> um, now, cycling is different. I do watch a lot of cycling, and anyone good is from Europe. So, like, if yeah. you can watch cycling, it's just the way it is. Um, I like track and field. We usually dominate in track and field anyway, so it's always USA, I love USA it. base. Yeah. I want to see whoever wins. Like I watched skateboarding yeah, yesterday. Do. Japanese guy won. I watched the the men's gymnastics. Oh, like Japanese the US guys won. were like, so close. Like they it were. was up they were, until yeah. the very yes, end. They, they were. like and then the Japanese yeah. guy. It was, it was like, literally the last on. trick on the thing. Yeah, literally. It was like it was that good. Literally the last trick the guy won it. It was like, wow, that's yeah. that's epic. That's amazing. Yeah. I, I want to see that. That's great. Yeah. That's good to watch. I love those stories. Yeah. Like and so for rugby too, like I watched all of the like semifinals and stuff, even though like the U.S. wasn't in it anymore. I mean, this was the men's side because yep. the women's side was today and it was great. But anyway, 